Right, Jared Eaton, you're now silver medalist. Yes. <laughs> Has it sunk in? Ah, oh, man, no, not yet. <laughs> the only thing that's sunk in is this lactic acid in my hair, sorry, because I'm about uh, there on fire. But uh, no, it feels great to, to have run that race and to kind of correct mistakes throughout the rounds and um, to come out to the final and then just to try to compete. So. How would you critique yourself? I think you said you had a little blip on the last turn. Yeah, I was kind of far away from the action and um, trying to get off that last hurdle and running. I think that's kind of my weakness is trying to get off that last hurdle. So that's definitely something I'll be practicing on uh, as we work into outdoor season is just running off that last hurdle um, a little bit harder and, and uh, getting things together. So. And it was a photo finish there. No one quite knew who had won and you're standing there with uh, Andrew Ozzy from Great Yeah, no. <laughs> it was crazy. I crossed the line and like I said, I didn't see him until I dipped and you know, you see this blur and then it it was him. I walked over. They didn't show the times. And it's like, all right, one of us won, and I don't know who did. And um, you know, I was sitting in town. I was like, well, I didn't see you out there in whatever lane you were. And you know, we're kind of separated and waiting and waiting. I was grabbing his hands, like, let's see what happens. And then next thing you know, they showed the photo finish, and you could just tell right then and there he had edged me out just by a little. So I'm happy with my performance overall. I think it's been a heck of a season, and to you know, perform and compete the way I did, I think. Uh, I can't be any. I can't be upset with how I do. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, you know, just a month or two ago, you're substitute teaching. You know, what, what kind of opportunities <laughs> do you think will start to open up to you? Man, you're I. Sponsored yet? Yeah, no, I'm not sponsored yet, so the door is wide open. You know, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm going back to substitute teaching and. Uh, working with my high school kids in uh, Richland Northeast High School and kind of getting back in that routine. So until, you know, maybe some things bite, but uh, at the moment, my mindset is just going right back to work and continuing the grind that I've done. It's not a unique thing either. A lot of athletes have jobs, um, but, you know, duty calls, duty calls, you got to pay the bill somehow. <laughs> and uh, I, I heard you mention in another interview, uh, campaign. Yes. Can you explain what? Yeah, so I've, I've done a campaign called an extra pair campaign. Um, and my goal was to unite unite track and field athletes who are attending the Albuquerque, New Mexico indoor championships to just pack an extra pair of running shoes. Uh, my thought was that a lot of athletes have this resource that is abundant to them and something so simple as giving a, a pair of shoes to some kids that don't have you know the right resources means the world to them and I successfully was able to raise you know over 55 plus running shoes and spikes for these kids in Albuquerque, New Mexico and the support and the turnout was just phenomenal. Um, I had a lot of people coming up to me and saying like how wonderful this was and I even had the kids come to the championships the last day. They watched me run and they watched me get the gold medal and it was awesome to see them and have them on the on the track with me as I received my medal. It was just a unique moment and I hope that these kids um, feel empowered now and know that somebody cares about them. Because a lot of times, you know, you just feel like, you know, I'm doing this just because. So I want these kids to know when we're coming to them, we care about you. We, we see your situation and we want to help and uh, the unification that we can and unification between the athletes and the impact that we can have on just a simple community is tremendous and I think uh, in the future we're going to continue doing this campaign and like I said I've received shoes from international athletes so India and Brazil and, and Great Britain I think um, this campaign was something special to them and hit home so now I'm, I'm coming home with some more shoes to donate to some other kids so it's a really fantastic opportunity that I have and I'm glad that it worked out and I'm really looking forward to the future so we can help other communities and high schools and things like that so I'm really excited. Yeah. Looking ahead, uh, you know, do you have plans yet for the outdoor season? Uh, right now uh, my only plan is to rest. <laughs> um, I got to sit down with my coach and my agent but um, of course we got some meets coming up um, and I'll be entering in those and just testing out my fitness again and then getting primed to sharp and race these guys again outdoors so same field that we saw the indoors these guys are clicking, they're running, so we're going to be racing outdoors again. So, some familiar faces and some new players that will be into the uh, the mix as well. So, do, do you feel like you're perfectly suited for the 60 hurdles? Do you feel like that's your best event, or do you feel like now having this experience? Uh... Well, it's funny. I think if you would ask me that question a couple of years ago, I would have said the 60 is my strong suit. Um, but I didn't want the 60 to be my strong suit. So working with my coach, we've been working together for about two and a half years now, uh, two years. So we've been really focusing on this outdoor, you know, the last five hurdles, six hurdles. And 
funny enough, that was the main goal this whole season. So for me to come out here and to get a silver medal in uh, the 60 hurdles was phenomenal. And for me to have PR twice this season while we're just working on, you know, the last half of my race really tells that outdoor is going to be one exciting season. And I'm really, really looking forward to it in a long time. I haven't looked forward to outdoor season in such a long time. So um, I'm really excited for outdoor season because, you know, the sky's the limit. So I'm, I'm excited. We're excited too. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it.